In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to put this elephant head on top of a gorilla body. One of the keys to making this look good is to give both the head and the body similar colors and textures. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's start by opening up our pictures. And we can do that by going to the File menu and choose Open as Layers. And here you can select multiple images by holding down the control key while you click on the individual images. And then when you have both of them selected, press open. So here we have our image of a gorilla. And then we have our elephant on the bottom layer. And I'm going to move the elephant to the top by selecting this layer. And then I'll press the green up arrow. Now the first thing that we want to do is to give this top layer an alpha channel so that we can make parts of it transparent. And you can do that by right clicking on the top layer and then select add alpha channel. And we're going to cut out the head of this elephant by using the free select tool. So click on the free select tool and then let's zoom in on this so that we can see it a little better. And with the free select tool selected, come down here to the tool options and click on feather edges and set this to a radius of one because we want to add just a little bit of feathering to the edges. And then start about right here and just click on the edge of this elephant and then move the cursor and click again and just follow the outline of this elephant. And I'm going to pause for a moment while I do this. Okay, I've selected around the edge of the head over to this point and then I'm just going to come over here and select a few more points and then to end this selection, I just bring my cursor over to the starting point and click on that. And now everything inside this dotted line is selected. But I want to select everything on the outside of this line, so I can do that by going up to the Select menu and choose Invert. And now everything on the outside of this dotted line is selected. So now I can just press the Delete key on my keyboard. And now the next thing that I want to do, still using the free select tool, is to select the inside of the trunk. So I'll click here to start, and then I'll click a few places around the inside of this trunk. And then I click on the starting point again to select that, and then just hit delete on the keyboard. And now I no longer need this selection, so I can go up to the select menu and select none. And now let's zoom out on our image so we can see the whole thing. So go to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now we need to flip the elephant head. So come over here and select the Flip tool. Make sure that Horizontal is selected. And then just click on the elephant head. And we also want to make this elephant head a little bigger. So click on the Scale tool. And then click on the elephant head. And we want to scale the width and the height proportionally. So click on this button right here that looks like a chain so that they're locked together. And then if you click and hold the mouse button on this grid, you can drag this and it will resize it. Or you can just enter numbers directly in here. And I'm going to go ahead and enter in 2662. And then if you press the Enter key on your keyboard, you'll see that it'll change the height as well and then just press the scale button. And then next let's rotate this a little bit and we can do that by using the rotate tool and after clicking on the tool click on the elephant head then if you click and hold the mouse button in the grid area you can rotate this and you can also enter in a value directly here for angle so I'm going to go ahead and enter 30 degrees and then press rotate And now we can position this elephant head into place. And to help us do that, I'm going to change the opacity just temporarily to about 60%. And then select the Move tool, and then put your cursor over the head, and press and hold the mouse button, and then you can move this elephant head. And I'm going to position it about right here. And I tried to line up the top of the elephant head with the top of the gorilla head, right here in this area. 
And now we're going to erase the right side of this elephant head right along this area. So click on the eraser tool and then for the brush select the brush that has a hardness of 075 and set the brush size to about 50. Then come over here and start erasing the right side of the elephant head. So just press and hold the mouse button while you drag the cursor. And I'm just going to follow the right side of the gorilla head and just erase right along there. And then I'll just finish up getting rid of this part right here. And now I can change the opacity of the elephant head back to 100. So I just come up here and move the opacity slider till it's 100%. And then next we want to change the color of this elephant head. So come up to the colors menu and select colorize. The body of the gorilla has a lot of grays and blacks in it. So I'm going to reduce the saturation way down to about four. And then when I do this, the hue slider doesn't have much of an effect anymore but I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to about 32. And then the lightness slider, I'll also bring that down and let's set that to about minus 41. And then press OK. And now we're going to erase some more. So click on the erase tool. And now let's set our brush size to about 100. And then come over here and start erasing around in this area. And then also erase over here around the top of the gorilla shoulder. And now we want to copy some of the colors and the textures from the gorilla body onto the elephant head. And we can do that by using the clone tool, which is this button right here. So after clicking this, come over to the layers and select the bottom layer, which will select the layer with the gorilla on it. And then move the cursor over the shoulder area and press and hold the control key and then click on the mouse button. And this will set the source for the clone tool. And then come back over here and select the top layer that has our elephant head. And now if you come over here to the tool options for the cloning tool, you can see that we can change the opacity. And so we're going to set this opacity to about 30. And so now when we come over to the elephant head, if you press and hold the mouse button while you move the cursor, it'll copy some of the arm area of the gorilla onto the head. But since we set the opacity to 30%, it won't completely cover the elephant head. But instead, it'll help us to combine the textures and the color of the gorilla arm with the elephant head. And you also might notice that as I move the cursor while holding the mouse button, that both the source and the destination cursors move. But if I release the mouse button, then the source cursor moves back to its original position. And so now if I were to move the cursor up here and start moving this around, then they move together again. And then if I release the mouse button and then do this again in the same spot, it'll get even darker. And so I'm just going to go around to different areas on this head and do some cloning. And again, I'm pressing down the mouse button and I'll move it around a little bit and then I release the mouse button and then I repeat that again. And then to do the bottom area of this trunk, I'm going to reduce the brush size down to about 50. And then I'll continue with the clone tool down in this area. Okay, next I'm going to change the source of the clone tool. So go back over and select the bottom layer and then move the cursor down to this lighter area down here and press and hold the control key and then click on the mouse button and then come back over here and select the top layer again. And now using this lighter area for the clone source, I'll clone in onto the top of the ears.
and that'll make the ear stand out a little bit better. And I'll also use this lighter color around this area right here, and also to the inside of the trunk. And I'll also clone this area right here. And now this is our finished image. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.